Hi there, everybody. Can there be you here? And we are still on the Holland America Insider Dam. And today we are in Charlottetown. Prince Edward Island. Prince Edward Island, yes. It is part of uh, Canada. And we are um, going to take you into this lovely town that you see behind us here. And um, yeah, just come along and we'll see what we can see. So we just started out with a little breakfast from the Lido. I'll show you that right now, and then we'll jump right back in. We're going to go down to Deck 1 Midship and get off and go explore this town. We decided to go for the Lido lunch today. I'm going with pork chop, mac and cheese, and fries, fruit and cheese plate. We're going to get a little roll. What else did you get over here? This is weird. Yeah, seafood, Zealand, white rice, and peas and carrots. Peas and, carrots yeah. and then that is a strawberry pistachio remoulade and a strawberry mousse. So I want to go ahead and turn you around and show you more instead of just exactly what's behind us. So they did give us a map. Woo, the phone strap is getting you on. So they did give us a map and it showed that it was like pretty much the town is like seven streets up. Is that what I counted? Seven to nine streets up and then like pretty much from here here that we're going through and then pretty much down here to the... What well, appears to be that big hotel. Okay, and then this little circle-y thing. Yeah, that is, is Queen Street. So we're just going to go walk. Of course, we're going to go check out that church because it's beautiful. On the TV screen this morning. It's, it's windy. It's adorable. Um, the Navigator app, which is Holland America's app, says that it was like 65 degrees out, which is amazing temperature for us. But all these people are like in long pants and hoodies and like parkas, like pulled, you know, the hoods up and it's pulled down really tight where you can just barely see their eyes and. We're out in shorts, so everybody's staring at us. It's cute. There's some people that are. Big satellite. Oh, these guys have shorts and short sleeves. That's cool. So, I guess just go on our walk with us. We're just going to walk to the front of the ship. This is deck 10. Yes. We even had our, you know, our lunch outside on deck nine. In the back, we just went out there to eat. Oh, look at all the birds down here. This is the covering on the pool deck. So it kind of looks junky from this angle, but if you're down there and you're, you know, going swimming whenever it's a little chilly out. We had to go inside to go up further. We found the crow's nest, so we're back inside. If I took my sunglasses off, I wouldn't be like, why is it so dark in here?
park too close. I can't see it. I'm thinking that's a royal ship. It looks like a royal curve. What if we go over in the corner? Well, let's go get off the ship. We're running back to our room to get some sunscreen so we can get off the ship, but we found another wheel and gin duck. What does this little duck look like? Um, I don't know what he is. He's got like a weird little hat thing going on. Yeah. But he's cute. We are gonna go rehide him somewhere else. Okay, William just moved him from sixth floor to fifth floor in the same location. How cute. And we are off the ship. We had a little pause there trying to get off because there's more people coming on today. They're bringing tons of luggage up the um, gangway. So that was interesting. We don't know if that's a typical thing that you can do um, to get on in Prince Edward Island. Or maybe people, I'm suspecting that they missed their flight or something to get on yesterday with us. Like, it could be like an entire plane load of people that were trying to get there. So, that's the Norwegian Jade, is what was in front of us that we could not see a little bit of it. This is pretty. It smells like clean air. Oh, do you see what I see? Yep. A wacky arm Canadian guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got a mean face. No, he's got a hole in his head. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes, I see. The stabilizer. That's not what we normally call it, but it happens. We got a, like a little bird. Oh, those are fake birds. The yeah, I think they're to keep the seagulls and stuff away. Probably with the wacky arm guys before too. Oh, I thought it's just Canadian. <laughs> Happy that you're here. Could be that. You know, all the fun. They're advertising really cute for the Founders Food Hall and Market. They've painted the little line to follow. And it appears to be this big brick building. Well, the little founder's market was kind of more of a eatery type place, and we've just ate. It's somewhat seasoned there, too. And we're here towards the end of the season. But we found stained glass windows. A beautiful church. I bet that's beautiful on the inside. Built me. 63. Trinity Church. It appears that we might be able to go inside. Those steps are cool. They look kind of scary, but it says use the entrance that's on the side, and it says all are welcome. Please enter here. No, it's locked. No try anyway. No. It's probably all are welcome when church is going on. It's Monday. It's Labor Day. I don't think they celebrate that here, but anyway. I just want to see the stained glass windows. Nope. Lots and lots of places have a spoiled that you can just go into a church and like look how beautiful they are. But not that one today. They have like a little raised garden out here. So far the houses look like, what did you just describe them as? I described them as Victorian mixed with Caribbean. 
definitely some Victorian architecture and a lot of interesting color choices. Not that it does them in justice. Look at this little guy. Yeah. Stop and take his photo. Oh, That's look at this. Yes, so pretty. Very pretty. Good job, people at 100, wherever we are. Keeping the honeybees active. St. Paul's Church over there is pretty. It's the parish hall office. I wonder if that's St. Paul's over there. Oh. A pretty church. I'm just taking you along on our walk. So the temperatures are very nice. Uh, it's, uh, definitely less windy on the island. There's still a decent amount of wind, but you know, you've got all the building blocking your the wind and whatnot so it's a better temperature than what it was on the boat even though the boat was very reasonable oh, they got a bird yep it was pretty decent size well we do have enough churches going on here this is a presbyterian So I just seen this adorable little mouse statue up here, but apparently he is part of a scavenger hunt. It's downtowncharlottetown.com, and this little guy is four of nine. Mm, I don't know if that's going to be a challenge. So we made it over here to the big, beautiful church that we seen from the ship. It is definitely one of the biggest things like look at me look at me oh. William explains that as this kind of gothic it could be the time period of gothic St. Dunstan's Basilica Basilica you like the oh the doors are open we are going in y'all
it's in an odd coincidence that the meeting of the 23rd delegates at the Charlottetown Conference in September 1864, two men would have the same name. That is precisely what happened. John Hamilton Gray, the conservative premier of Prince Edward Island, and the chair of the conference, John Hamilton Gray of New Brunswick, represented St. John as a conservative member and was one of the five delegates from that providence, province. Um, both believed in a confederation, both were pro-railway and had active careers in the military. It would seem likely that if they had met here on Great George Street that week in 1864, they would have had much to discuss, eavesdrop, and hear what they are saying. Talk about some rough sidewalks. These big planks are vicious to walk on. So as we said earlier, we came on down Queen Street, that weird little circle. We took pictures with the 2024. And here is the Zotterdam. How beautiful. William might be seeing some fish down here for us. Yeah, they're little. There's something going on in here because there's lots of people fishing. Lots and lots of people fishing, so. But that guy's confident that he's gonna find something. I really like the anchor point things where they're turned over on the side and they got all like the little barnacles on them. They also have this little lock thing for people to put love locks on. I'm gonna go check out the marina over here. Where you find it? I just, there's a lot of people fishing, but nobody pulling anything mm -hmm. up, really. So. All the little clinkies things over here. I know it's just boat parts clinking, but it kind of sounds like wind chimes. I think the wind would be perfect today for a little sailboat ride. Eckert the Mouse is the main character from the true meaning of Krumfest, the story of a curious little mouse written by PEI author David Wheel. Eckert is the first and foremost an adventurer and you can be too as you follow the clues to find our bronze eckers placed here and there around the city. We're going on a scavenger hunt y'all. So we found that number four guy and we had to pull it up on the website and see what we can find. Yes. In 1864, delegates to the Charlottetown Conference arrived at the historic Charlottetown waterfront on board the HMCS Queen Victoria. They landed at Peaks Quai Wharf just across Confederation Landing Court from the Founders Food Hall Market, which in 1906 was a CN car shop where locomotives were repaired. Today you can enjoy delicious island dishes and shop from local makers here. Okay, let's go find number two. All right, here's mouse number two of nine, St. Dunstan's Basilica, built at the end of the 19th century in the neo-Gothic style, is the seat of the Roman Catholic Diocese of the province. It is one of the largest buildings of its kind in Eastern Canada and famed for its altar with its beautiful Italian carving and a superb 
rows of windows. Eckert number two. Came across all these beautiful flags. So, you can tell that this building is really pretty and it is called the... The Grand House. So, we are going to stop number three on our scavenger hunt. And this is how committed Prince Edward Island is to the scavenger hunt. So, it's all boarded up with construction. But then they made this little window so that we can see Eckert. And he is going in here. So, you're only seeing the back of him. But they made him a little... Um, Vest and hard hat. How cute is that? They are so committed. I love it. Okay, so read to us about what number three is. Okay, number three. The cornerstone was laid in May 1843, and it opened for the first time in January 1847. It was designed and built by island craftsmen during a time of prosperity for the colony. From September 1 through 7, 1864, Province House played a central role in helping PEI host the Charlottetown Conference, which saw meetings that led to Canadian Confederation. Charlottetown now holds the designation Birthplace of Confederation. Province House is currently closed for conservation, but you can visit a replica of the chamber inside Confederation Center of the Arts. That is so cute. Oh, I can get a picture of him over here from the side. I love it. <laughs> okay. We want to pass the barrier. Isn't he perfect? Okay, on to scavenger hunt spot number four, please. Okay, as we're coming up to the end of Victoria Row, pretty little street shut off with some restaurants we come across this guy which is the one that we seen first that started our thoughts we had no clue that this was even a thing until I seen this little guy standing He's up here definitely the one that started this scavenger hunt and he is number four yes once the home of the Coast Guard the Queens Wharf is now one of the most visited locations in Charlottetown the big red provides the backdrop for thousands of photos every year you can lock on a token of your emotion on the love lock structure or just sit for a peaceful spell on the red Adirondack chair and take in the beauty of the waterfront. Okay, I think we're going to go back down to the waterfront. Okay, so number five, they said to come to Sydney and Queen Street and that Eckert would be looking up at that head over there. And there he is. Okay, well, tell us about Eckerd number five. Okay, Eckerd is looking over across the street at that, at that head on top of the building. It says, Owen Conley was one of the most successful entrepreneurs in the late 1800s. Conley, although successful, <clears throat> was somewhat retired with somewhat retiring individuals who, unlike many of his contemporaries, did not run for office, and his name rarely appeared in print. Therefore, it seems out of character for Conley to have placed a bust of himself atop the Conley block. It is more understandable when one learns that Conley's estate constructed the building after his death. Philanthropist Conley instructed estate executors to devote the remainder of his estate for the purpose of educating or assisting poor children resident in Prince Edward Island who are Irish or the sons of Irish fathers. Interesting. Let's go check out number six. So we continue down the street and then we cross the street and this guy is at the merchant man. He's window beeping. <laughs> He's a naughty. Yeah, he is. Okay, what you got? Okay, okay. The Peak Carvel Building 
It was constructed by James Ellis Peake to replace a wooden structure which has previously which had previously occupied this site. Peake, among his many talents, was a successful shipbuilder who personally owned more than 150 trading vessels or merchantmen which regularly sailed between Britain and Prince Edward Island. I have to pet. Okay, let's go find number seven. Okay, so we came up Queen Street, turned at Grafton, came across the street to the box office where our favorite redhead used to do stuff. I guess that's Anna Green Gables. Anna Green Gables, yes. The Confederation Center of the Arts is a Canadian center dedicated to the visual and performing arts. Construction started in 1960 and Queen Elizabeth II officially opened it to the public in 1964. It stands as Canada's National Memorial to the Fathers of Confederation, who met in Charlottetown in September of 1864 for the Charlottetown Conference. The Charlottetown Festival is noted for its first-class musicals, most famously for, for Guinness record setting and of Green Gables, the musical. Sweet. Okay, let's go find two more. Well, number eight is not that far away. He is on this little upside down cannon right here. How cute is he? Oh, he's missing his ear now. <sighs> it happens. Go ahead and tell us about number eight, please. Still in an upright position at the now Cow's Corner is an 18-pounder gun. In 1860, when Charlottetown was preparing for the reception of the young Prince of Wales, Mr. Desbriasse had the gun placed there on the corner with the muzzle pointed upward and a flagstaff and Union Jack placed therein in honor of the Prince. So we cross the street to City Hall where there is a clock. So the clock is ticking and here is number nine, our last Eckert. Can you tell us about number nine? This clock is a gift from Prince Edward Islanders in recognition of the important contributions of the city of Charlottetown and its people to the development and prosperity of Prince Edward Island and to celebrate the 150th anniversary of our capital city. Is that what it's on? Yes. Oh. So the wording to number nine was actually on the clock also. So yay, we did it. Hop off. Yay, we found nine Eckerts. We're gonna go down and check out this um <laughs> We're gonna go check out this um veil. Get a little doggy trying to sniff us. How pretty this is. It is the big... Big Donald. This bell was affectionately known as Big Donald, honoring Fire Chief Donald McKinnon. And it was right beside the fire department. They've got all these little firefighters out in like their garden. And they got a little firefighter. Ooh, look at that old Tommy fire truck. That's cool. But they got little Dalmatians out here. Let's go check out this truck. Look how cool that is. Very nice. I don't know why I didn't find any of this stuff whenever I was looking up things to do in this place. But, like, there's a kitty one too, scavenger hunt. Ringo's family. So I'm sure you could find that online also and go um, look for all the foxes. So adorable. And if I wasn't tired and ready for my nap, we would go find all the foxes. We are just headed back to the ship, but they got this adorable little thing. William seen a whole bunch of snail shells down there. Yes, it is. All those are snails. Oh, 
That's so cool. Just gonna pick one up for us. Oh yeah, they're in there too. Oh, I'm not focused. It's not focused. Look at him, he's coming out. You gotta get up here. I can't squat and focus him. Up, 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 up. No, because he's stand up. I can't squat. No more squatting. There's no focus on him. There he is. Hi, cutie. Okay, thanks for visiting. We gotta put you back down in the water. Also, a beautiful view of the ship. Yes, it is. And I wanna touch the water. Step around the snails. Very chilly water. That is cold. <laughs> and touch it. Okay, on back to the ship. It's time to get back on the ship. Say bye to Charlottetown. And our door is decorated so we can find it. We have some seagulls that we like to do, but we don't have it. They made our bed, but I was wondering if we had anything cool in here. Oh well, time to go to the Lido and get some lunch. Or, wait, do we already have lunch? We had first meal. We need the after port meal. So we got a little room service. Ooh, a club sandwich and a cheese plate. <coughs> Another cheese plate <laughs> and a grilled cheese. Grilled cheese off the kids' menu, so that's the reason why it's cut in thirds. Yes. Love it. After a quick nap, we went on to dinner, and I just want to share these plates. So both times we've been on Holland, I love these plates. Every time we sit down in the dining room, they've got like a little Holland logo on each one, and you have to find it. So, um, no video of our food, but here's some pictures. There's some chowder, and William had veal, and then I had like a beef stroganoff. Everything was delicious as always. Carrot cake and a strawberry crisp. And then off to take a little walk up to the main theater. It's time to take a little stroll up to the front of the ship. There's a show starting in about 10 minutes. But after dinner, I like to go outside on the open deck. You can see land over there. That was pretty good. Like, my appetizer tasted like turkey. And then my meal was the beef stroganoff, and it had some, a lot of mushrooms in it. So, and then my dessert was a little carrot cake. You had like a clam chowder. Bill for his entree and then a strawberry crisp with ice cream on it. It was the same as the blueberry crisp. It is a little chilly out here tonight. Like a little, just a little chill, a little bite, okay. Different from the last two nights. But my dress is a lot shorter tonight and I don't have any sleeves. So. So comfortable. Just a little bite to it. After we came back from the island earlier, we sat out on the deck chairs on this deck for a little while. And that was fun. 
nobody getting books right now. So, we're about to head in. We're going to go watch that show. And we might go outside again afterwards. Beyond these great waters, oh, what do I see? I see the great mountains climb from the coastline, the hills of Cape Town, this new home of mine. And we come from the countries all over the world to hack at the foreigners, bow the land down, fishermen. with us on this day in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island, Canada. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and keep on coming back for some future fun adventures. Next up is Sydney, Nova Scotia.
we keep passing this little thing. It's by the pinnacle bar. But it kind of looks like a abstract Mr. Ray.